So oftentimes in life, and I think it's an intrinsic desire as a human being, we compare ourselves to other people. Even now you're watching this video, you probably subconsciously, you don't even realize that you're comparing yourself to the way that I dress, the way that I look, this guy's jawline's like this. You're just randomly comparing yourself to other people every single day. Every single day you're doing it without even realizing it. And it's negative, bro. What are you getting from that? But we do it intrinsically because, you know, back in the, our ancestors, you had to compare yourself to the other members in the tribe to make sure you didn't get outed from the tribe. I understand where it's come from, but it doesn't really serve you in any way on a day-to-day -day basis, especially with social media and shit. So number one is delete social media because that's going to have you depleted of motivation, depleted of confidence in yourself. Just get rid of that shit. I, I tell you this, every single video pretty much, get rid of social media. If you've still got Instagram, TikTok, all this, but what the fuck are you doing? You're a grown man. Get a grip of yourself, right? In order to maintain pretty much unlimited levels of motivation and discipline, the only person you should ever compare yourself to is your enemy, right? And I say that in quotation to enemy, okay? Your enemy isn't another human being because again, if I was comparing myself to you, for example, you were the same age as me, hypothetically. We're both 21 years old. I'm comparing myself to you. This guy's got this. This guy's got this car, this girl, this life, whatever. I'm comparing myself to somebody that has had a completely different upbringing, completely different financial situation from the start off. He lives in a different place, different mindset, different people that he's surrounded by, different parental, everything's different. So I'm comparing myself, different genetic, everything's completely different. So why am I comparing myself to somebody? Just because the only thing we share in common is we're the same age. Can you see how negative that is and how counterproductive that is for your productivity? Yeah? So instead of doing that, instead of comparing yourself to somebody that, you, number one, you're nothing alike, and even if you are, again, you're still completely different human beings. You think different, right? Everything's different. So the only person you should compare yourself to is the best version of yourself. That is your enemy. My enemy is the version of myself that does everything that I should be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. He has the life that I would have if I did every single thing that I know I should be doing without fail. And this guy doesn't get tired. It's almost impossible for me to reach his level, right? It's just the best version of me. He has the same genetics, same parental upbringing. He's the exact same person. He is me. He's just the best version of me. He's the most disciplined, the most motivated, the most on it. He never gets tired. He never feels fear. He almost has impossible, unrealistic traits about him which leaves me in, in the real life and reality it leaves me constantly pushing myself constantly striving for more constantly pushing my boundaries you understand because my enemy doesn't get tired whereas i do my enemy doesn't feel fear whereas i do do you understand so it's constantly pushing myself seeing how far i can grow seeing how far i can push myself as a human being do you understand how that's much more positive than comparing yourself to somebody completely random so in your mind's eye or you can write it down on paper, write down the quality traits, the, the, the characteristics that your enemy has. He's the best version of you. Remember, he's exactly the same. So you can't use the excuse. Yeah, but this guy's got this genetics. This guy's got this, these parents. This guy's had this upbringing. You can't use any excuse. There is no excuse. He's you, but he's you that does everything that he's supposed to do. Every time he sees a beautiful, attractive woman and he walks faster, instead of just walking past with his head down like you do, he says hello to her. He introduces himself. He speaks to her. Right? Every single time. Because it doesn't feel fear, it doesn't feel anxiety. Can you see how these this this comparison that you are doing here is so much more positive? Because you're gonna be pushing yourself. Every time you see a beautiful girl now, you're gonna be thinking to yourself, my enemy would speak to this girl. My enemy would go and talk to her right now. Am I gonna let my enemy win? Am I gonna let this guy beat me? I've gotta do it too. Let's go. Boom. Unlimited motivation. You wake up in the morning, it's four in the morning, it's fucking cold outside, it's shitty English weather. You don't wanna get up. Get rid of the dead hair, hold on every video bro you don't want to get up it's cold outside you're, you're nice and warm and your comfy blanket whatever the alarm's going off and you think hmm should i just snooze in i don't have to get up should i just snooze in get some sleep but you know your enemy the guy that you could be if you did the things that you know you should be doing he's got the best body he's got all the women he could ever dream of money financial success his business is popping off social everything that you want he has and you could have that too if you did the things that he did this is unlimited motivation. I wake up in the morning, four in the morning. I feel like going back to sleep. I just simply think, right, my enemy is up and he's already doing his push-ups. He's already meditating. He's already outside going for a run. He's already done this shit. I'm still in bed. The fuck? I've got to get up. Let's go. We've got shit to do. And the only way that you're going to feel proud of yourself as a man is if you are competing, right? Competition is very, very healthy. And you can compete with your enemy, your made-up enemy, every single day, every single second that you're walking. Right now, I'm recording these videos. My enemy's going to record more videos than I'm doing. 
Boom, it gives me motivation to push myself, to keep going, to find out what I'm more capable of, to push those boundaries of fear, of discomfort. Do you understand what I'm saying? Unlimited motivation. Your enemy has the body that you want. He's got the girl that you want. He's got the car that you want. He's got the fucking financial, whatever it is that you want, bruv, he has it. And he's got it because every single time, he doesn't, he doesn't fail. He does not fail. Failure doesn't exist in his world. The words, I can't, don't exist. He just does. Action. Every time he sees a girl, boom, he's speaking to her. Right? Beautiful, attractive girl. Instead of hiding away, timid, like a coward, he goes and speaks to her. Straight away, no fear, just walks over there. That's who you're in competition with. And he's fucking decimating you right now. He's annihilating you. You're bottom of the leaderboard, bruv. Are you going to allow that to continue? Or are you going to use this as motivation, compete with your enemy, and compare yourself to your enemy, who's just the best version of you? No one else. You're not comparing yourself to me. I have a, I have a different upbringing to you. Different, different parents, different, everything's completely different. I've read different books, different mindset, different experiences. It's all different. Do you understand what I'm saying, bro? So you're comparing yourself to me. It's so counterproductive. You're not getting anything from that. So compare yourself to your enemy. Yeah, the made-up enemy. Write, it, write down his, his character traits. Okay, he takes a cold shower every morning. He does this. He does that, right? Write them down. And every single time, you get the option for something. Hmm, I could take the easy option. I could just avoid the girl, pretend I didn't see her, ignore her, because it's easier to do that than being, you know, the uncomfortable option is going over and talking to her. But which one would my enemy be doing right now? He'd be going over and talking to her. Great. Well, I can't, I can't bitch out now. My enemy's already doing it. So I can't bitch out. I can't continue on the rest of my day knowing that I'm a bitch. You just can't do that. You'll feel so guilty and that guilt will eat you up and it'll cause you to do it anyway. So this is unlimited. Bro, guys ask me, how do I get motivation? Bro, you're comparing yourself to the wrong people. Compare yourself to this guy. He's, he's beating you right now. And he's you. He's what you could be. That's, that's, the, that's the hard truth of it. As you know, if you press that snooze button in the morning, you know that you've just missed out on potential of who you could be. You've just... You've just Unlock, you've locked your own potential for yourself. You just missed out on your own potential. You're, you're locking away a percentage of who you could be because you'd rather stay comfortable and take the bitch option than, you know, compare yourself to your enemy and compete with him. So it's very, very powerful when you think like this. And I think in terms of motivation and discipline in general, I think it's just about the why. Why are you doing the things that you do? You know, why do I get up every single morning and have a cold shower? Why do I not use social media, don't drink. Why am I very disciplined with the food that I eat, things like that? Why do I do this shit? Well, because I know when I look in the mirror, I feel proud of myself. And pride is a very good motivator if you use it correctly. I feel proud when I look in the mirror. I feel good about myself. I walk with confidence when I'm living this life rather than when I live a different life or a degenerate life or when I drink or when I use social media. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I've understood my why. I've got the motivation behind it. I've got the reasoning behind it, let's say, the purpose behind it. I understand that. I understand what it is. So every time I wake up and I feel like, uh, you know, don't feel, feel like it today. I think back to the why. Why am I doing this in the first place? Why am I putting myself through this discomfort? Cool. That's the reason. Because I know how I feel. I know that I'm a better man because of it. Right, let's fucking get on it. Yeah, that's how I do it. Unlimited motivation, unlimited discipline every single day. And you'll find that through discipline comes motivation. If you're disciplined for long enough, you'll find that you just, you, you'll see the rewards, you'll get the rewards of your discipline and that will give you motivation to keep going. You go to the gym, right? I know my camera skills are all over the place recently, but I'm looking at the floor, looking at the sky, bro. <laughs> Presence. <laughs> I'm walking through shit, that's, that's all it is. I'm off balance terrain right now. So you'll go to the gym for a long period of time, for a couple of months with pure discipline. You won't feel like doing it. But you'll go, you'll go there anyway because of discipline, right? You'll force yourself to do it because you know that that is what makes you feel the best. That's what makes you feel proud of yourself. That's what makes you feel like a fucking man, right? Not a bitch, not a boy that cowers away from discomfort. So you'll do it because you've got to be disciplined. Cool. You'll start seeing results. You'll look in the mirror. You'll feel proud of yourself. You'll look at your body actually molding. You're molding your flesh in real time. And you'll feel that, yeah, I like this. <laughs> That will give you motivation. You won't have to force yourself to do it. You'll just, you'll like doing it. You'll actually enjoy the process of doing it. So discipline creates motivation, okay? But it only comes through that hard part of actually forcing yourself to do it in the first place. And you do that, you get the discipline part by comparing yourself to your enemy. The person that you want to be, the person that you could be if you did the right things is, is bro, outworking you to the max, right? You've got nothing on him. So up your game. That'll give you that, that, that spike in energy to get out there and get the job done do what you know needs to be done right so that's how i use these little tactics excuse me to my advantage every single day i compare myself to my enemy 
I, I know the body that he's got. I know the women that he has in his life. I know the financial freedom that he's got. I know who he could be. And then I bring myself back to reality and realize where I am. And although, yeah, I'm very grateful for what I've got, of course, gratitude's a big thing. But at the same time, I think you should balance it out with a bit of hunger, striving for more, right? I'm not happy with where I'm at though. I'm grateful for what I've got, but I'm not satisfied, right? I want more. Cool, let's go, let's get it done. So use that, keep that in mind. Have a good one, look after yourself. Coaching is down below. If you, if you struggle to implement this, or you find that even with this advice, you're still inconsistent, you're still struggling, come and talk to me. Or anything in general, bro, if you're struggling with a porn addiction or whatever, you know, relationship issues, family issues, school issues, anything that you want to talk about, bro, that's what I'm here for. I'm not a therapist. I'm kind of like the best friend, the big brother that you never had kind of thing, right? It's just chill, like we're having a FaceTime call. It's nothing formal. It's nothing over the top. Again, I'm not a therapist. We're just coming to chill. We'll have a laugh about it. We'll talk about your problems, your situations. I'll tell you about mine. Cool. Sweet. See you later. Take care. Look after yourself. And I'll see you soon. Later. Boom.